Hi. <laughs> We're introducing uh, our video from New Zealand. <laughs> no, not like that. No, no. This is so you know when you're, oh. cut, when you're cutting through. It's just uh, one of the old tricks that I learned. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's like when we when we first started IVF, we kind of thought that it... Jeez, we thought we'd be done by now. Yeah. <laughs> I think... <laughs> it'd be all over by now. <laughs> and that's probably what everybody thinks. They think, oh, we're just going to do like one cycle and it's going to work perfectly. And then... So when we first started, we were initially thinking of not telling like family and friends about we it. We didn't. We didn't, yeah. We didn't tell anyone. Yeah, we didn't tell anyone. And we, mm. we started and did the first bit by ourselves without anybody knowing because we kind of thought oh you know we'd be able to surprise everybody with a pregnancy announcement <laughs> <laughs> it's funny now <laughs> okay because it wow it takes longer than that so yeah. that's what we thought yeah and then obviously it didn't turn out that way and it well, got maybe, to the, yeah, we assume yeah it's god or what it got to the point where we were like we need to let people know because like people were like we needed some help for a start like we needed people to kind of know what we would going through and, and also to kind of like be aware of it because they made like pretty insensitive oh, comments and God. yeah so just letting people know so we, we talked about it a bit and we decided that we wanted to make a private Facebook group because we had definitely no intention of sharing our story like no, this not at all we were, were pretty private really not at all we didn't want to be like Jesus, I barely used social media before you. <laughs> yeah, Go we on. didn't want to be like Insta famous or anything like that, or on YouTube or anything. But then it's now gone to the point where we're like, we're like people need to know because what is it? Almost two years now, and <laughs> well, it's more more that people need to know that they're not alone. Yeah, and people, yeah, I think like, that's important. We've developed some kind of strategies that might help people, so. That's why we're sharing now. Seems crazy to keep it to ourselves. <laughs> I it Share the enjoyment. <laughs> so, such an amazing experience. So anyway, when we first decided to share with just our family and friends, we made like a private Facebook group with only like 20 people in it. We were like, these are the people that we want to share it with. And we made a, an initial video just to share it. So mm. we, we thought you might like to see that. So. Yeah. And that's so, what this is. <laughs> John's gonna talk. John's gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see we've prepared heaps. Uh, <clears throat> oh, you know, our last year we've been we've been kicking around this IBF. Uh, Ball, for want of a better word. <laughs> some of us have been <laughs> kicking, some of us have been lying in bed. Um, um, I guess it's just really nice to know that we, we have got family support, but we just thought um, we've learnt that a lot of people don't really know much about um, what needs to happen, what has to happen with regards to actually ending up with a, a little one at the end. So. Um, just let us know. Uh, the whole purpose around this was just to ask whether it'd be of interest to you, whether we could um, uh, just keep, create a Facebook group or something, a private group that um, we can keep you all informed. And I guess my journey and Laura's journey, we've got our own separate journeys, but together we just want to uh, make sure that um, you guys are informed enough to offer a, offer support and um, uh -huh. we can yeah Ooh. yeah we're about to go into like kind of our the, the last kind of attempt of what we can do to have our own children and it's been kind of strange this first year to because people don't kind of really understand or know I guess what to say and so we were like well why don't we I mean it's our job to communicate what's going on and because we're about to come into a couple of cycles and 
John's having knee surgery and just trying to manage it all. Which actually isn't anything to do with the IVF, by the way. But it does. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not where they get it's them from. not part of the... That's not where they get they them from. They don't go that's in what, the knee and then... No. That's what I learned. But he has to have <laughs> knee surgery and that actually affects the timing of everything else. And um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty full-on couple of months for us. And there's, it's like a numbers game as well because you, ha- you get, you know, you get eggs or sperm or whatever and you know there's numbers and we're going to get embryos and then a bunch of them are going to die and then some of them aren't going to he was saying something a bit dramatic but that's actually true she's a little dramatic (laughs) that is actually true the whole purpose around this was would you like us to set up a (laughs) messenger group and we'll work from there yeah because i think it's like i would i have no that's (laughs) What? John's just a little concerned that people might think that they're getting, getting the sperm out of his knees. It is a new radical treatment that they're trying. <laughs> we are a little confused, <laughs> but we're doing what our doctors are telling us to do. So, knee surgery it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Cut. Oh.